people, NFTs are seen as a fad that isn't going to last for too long. That's because despite there being people out there willing to pay for this status, others feel it is only a matter of time before the excitement over this status dwindles dramatically. Easy come, easy go after all. What's more is that a lot of these NFTs appear to get expensive rather quickly, meaning that only the more well-off people are going to be able to afford these super expensive NFTs. Again, one of the main appeals of NFTs is how it promotes a sense of community. Can't quite be doing that when they end up acting more as expensive club passes. For me, I feel the best way to help NFTs is by tying them with something that is actually tangible. Say, for example, that I wanted to make an NFT based on the Mona Lisa, that is, the actual tangible painting. What I would do is create a nice digital scan of the painting in question, and then take a few pictures of the item in question to be what represents said item. The way I say it now, it sounds more akin to an online seller's listing. However, the physical item is more about being a status symbol rather than for its functional intended purpose, though I would still have its original use in the end. And for good measure, there would be some kind of digital chip on it to better deter the fakers out there that might be tempted to swap out the real item for a phony replica. Though as a result, it might introduce a few privacy concerns for some. Hey, I never said it was a perfect solution, but I still think the idea of NFTs will require more involvement with tangible items here. On one last note, I'd like to mention gaming NFTs, which appear to act a little differently compared to other NFTs. You see, a gaming NFT is basically the same as an in-game asset, but with the distinction that said asset can be used on any other games. Well, not exactly, as the catch here is that games would need to be made in mind with this feature for it to actually work. For even with games out there that use similar frameworks, said assets would have to be manually transferred over there in order for them to have any real use. Again, the software would have to be made in mind for the effect to work, as software made for one system won't automatically work with another. Unless, of course, if the hardware slash software can recognize one another. Now, here's the point in the story where I would include a game based on an ape that has a red tie with the initials DK on them. However, a certain other content creator on Tract would rather like to use the story I written out for a learning path that more so focuses on gaming NFTs. So with that said, I will just skip right down to the bottom of the script and end this learning path. <laughs> the idea of maintaining the value of something tangible while converting it to something digital does sound like quite the intriguing idea. It would appear that the idea of said NFTs might need a bit more time cooking in the oven. There might be promise to the idea, but for now we will see with what the future holds for NFTs. But for now, thank you all for watching this learning path. Don't forget to tackle your challenge, keep waiting for that future gaming NFT learning path, and have a nice day! 